Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the compound interest on a certain sum of money at a certain rate for 2 years is rupees 282.15 and the simple interest on the same sum is rupees 270 at the same rate and for the same time. Determine the rate of interest. So what's the given question? The compound interest is given. What is the compound interest? It is 282.15 rupees. And simple interest is also given, it is 270 and time is equal to 2 years. So you have to find out the rate of interest. So we know the equation connecting simple interest and compound interest. What is the equation? Simple interest is equal to RT divided by 100 into compound interest divided by 1 plus R by 100 the whole raise to T minus 1. We write the representations for simple interest and compound interest and rearrange the formula you will be getting the formula connecting compound interest and simple interest so writing that equation you will be able to solve the question but it will be very lengthy you have to do the simplification you, you will be getting 1 plus r by 100 the whole raise to t minus 1 so from there if you are trying to find out r it will be a very lengthy process and r is also there in the numerator also so this is the formula simple interest is equal to rt by 100 into compound interest divided by 1 plus r by 100 the whole raise to t minus 1 so this is the formula so you are having r here also in the numerator as well as in the denominator so you are having all the other terms, you are having simple interest, you are having compound interest, you are having time. But from this equation if you are trying to find out R, it will be a very lengthy process and this uh, solution will not be feasible for competitive exams. So today I am going to discuss a shortcut method for doing these kind of questions. So here the key is 2 years, time is equal to 2 years and this is a very common kind of question. So you have, you, we can study a shortcut formula for this. So when the compound interest, simple interest and time is 2 years. The time should be 2 years. This equation is applicable only when time is equal to 2 years. And when rate of interest is asked, how we can find out. So we are having a direct formula. Rate of interest is equal to the difference between compound interest and simple interest the difference between compound interest and simple interest the whole divided by simple interest into 100 so this is the formula into 100 okay so we have to find out the difference between compound interest and simple interest that difference divided by simple interest into 100 you will be getting the rate of interest directly and this will be applicable only when time is equal to 2 years. And we will be also studying another formula when time is equal to 3 years. These kind of questions normally co comes for time is equal to 2 years or time is equal to 3 years. Beyond that it will not be feasible to find out. So such questions won't be asked normally. So we can study shortcut formulas when time is equal to 2 years and when time is equal to 3 years. Okay. So now we can apply this formula here, we are asked to find out the rate of interest. So rate is equal to difference between compound interest and simple interest. So what is the compound interest? 282.15 and the simple interest is 270. So the difference will be rupees 12.15. Oh, sorry, 2 is also there. Okay, sorry, I am very sorry. There is a 2 in the equation. Rate of interest is equal to 2 into difference between compound interest and simple interest divided by simple interest into 100. So rate is equal to 2 into, so what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest? 12.15 into 100 divided by what is the simple interest? 270. So finally you will be getting the answer as you can cancel out this uh, 0 and 0 from the numerator and the denominator. So you will be having remaining 27 and uh, 1215. 1215 is divisible by 3. So you will be getting here 4.05 and here you will be getting 9. And again 4.05 is again divisible by 9. Right. So 40 you will be getting it as uh, what you will be getting 0.65. So 0.65 into 10 into uh, 0.45, 9 into 4 is equal to 36, so, so 0.45, so 0.45 into 
2 into 100 so we'll be getting rate is equal to 9 percentage so you can easily find out just like that by using this shortcut formula now let's go to question number two on a certain sum of money the compound interest for two years is rupees 40.80 and the simple interest for the same period of time is rupees 40 find the rate of interest so here also what is given we are, we are having the compound interest compound interest is equal to 40.80 and simple interest is equal to rupees 40 and time is two years so that is what you have to check first the time is two years compound interest is given simple interest is given you have to find out the rate of interest so we are having the shortcut formula the rate of interest is equal to 2 into difference between simple interest and compound interest or you can say sim compound interest minus simple interest simply always compound interest will be more when compared to simple interest so difference between compound interest and simple interest divided by simple interest into 100 so that is our shortcut formula so here we will be getting rate is equal to 2 into what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest 0 0.80 so 0 0.80 divided by what is the simple interest 40 into 100 so we can cancel out 40 and 100 so we will be getting 4 and uh, 0 we can cancel out so here you can get 2 and here you will be getting 5 so 0.80 into 5 so you will be getting rate of interest is equal to 4 percentage per Anna. Thank you for watching.